Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Evelyn's 3D Shop. In this video I bring you a overview of my Unreal Engine product called Memory Game. I'm going to show you each component that this product has. Alright, first we're going to start with blueprints. We're going to go to the first subfolder called End Game. We're going to open it and in here we have the end game this is the widget that will appear once the game has finished either because the player lost or because the player found all the duplicated images so here is the message that will appear depending on the performance of the player and here we have the percentage that depends on the total points the player gain through the game. Here are the options, which is the restart button in here and the exit button. These are custom widget blueprints. In this video, I'm not going to go deeply on these components. I'm going to leave that for the next video. Okay, moving on. We go to the second subfolder, Game Template, and this is where the main widget for this product is. This is the main widget that contains the game. So we have here three options. We have the Start, the Clue button, and the Exit. And in here we have the Points, the Tries, and the Clues. And here we have this message that will appear every time the player chooses a wrong second card. Okay, in here we have in total there are 20 pictures, which means that there are 10 images that, that the player needs to find on each game. Each time the game starts, these images are moved randomly through all the coding that this widget blueprint contains. Okay. Now we go to the third one, which is setup. And we have here the image card, which is one of the components that the main widget blueprint has. As you can see, it's a custom widget, the option button, which both the end game and the main widget blueprint has, and the card that the main blueprint contains as well. In the image card, going to graph, in here there are two event graphs, show image and hide image. These are run in the main blueprint, so in show image is Whenever it's clicked, the card will show the image that is contained and in hide image it will hide the image again, which will usually happen when the player has picked the wrong second card. And in here, in options, the user can change by looking at, and I'm going to show you right now, by clicking in here this um i don't remember in the name in english right now i'm sorry but in spanish is lupa by searching the text variable called option name the user can change the text that is displaying here so instead of option it could be start button end button clip button you get the idea So just to recapitulate, going back to the main blueprint, this is where the options appear and this is where the images, the duplicated images that the player needs to find will appear. All of this is being set up in here, in the events and the functions that this main blueprint contain that I will be showing you more deeply, as I mentioned before, in the next video. Now, we go to images, 
the images folder and in here we have the background that both the end game and the main blueprint has and the user can also change the background to their own custom background and in game images this folder contains all the images that the player needs to find in here there are 30 items but of course in the game only 10 out of these 30 images will appear the user has the option to pick which of these images wants to appear every time and can also add its own images as well the user can delete these images and add their own as for the size of the images as you can see in here in dimensions there are small images 880 times 220 they're very small the buyer can make them bigger if they want to but it's not necessary and last but not least we have here maps this is the level that contains the game as you can see here and we're going to go to the level blueprint and there is a coding where the mouse cursor and the click events are enabled and also this is where the user input is also enabled so that the player can play this game either with keyboard or with gamepad if they don't want to use the mouse okay this is the end of this video the overview on the next video I'm going to be showing you as the buyer how you can customize this product if you like this video please don't forget to give a like comment and subscribe also if you're interested in buying this product I'm going to be leaving the link on the description below so you can buy it thank you very much have a great day or night